With almost 500 sessions in X2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see implementing FinTech security in the cloud, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. Moving your company's workloads to the public cloud can be scary. It feels like a huge security risk, and often you're dealing with your most closely guarded intellectual property. To succeed at migrating, you need to figure out how to protect your IP from theft or attack, while also making sure your stakeholders can get access to the data they need. Let's see how Two Sigma did it, start to finish. Based in New York, Two Sigma is a tech-driven investment company that's moving to the cloud while also juggling the needs of internal modelers, developers, and security teams, alongside external communities of users and developers. We'll walk through how they created a secure Google Cloud Platform architecture, opening up new opportunities for scale that they could not achieve with on-premise solutions. They begin, like any of us, with a brand new GCP account and a super admin identity or two. Of course, they have existing on-premise resources, including their authoritative identity provider, in this case, Active Directory. Then, they create a few compute and storage resources. Securing those cloud assets requires good policies. In this case, we'll use identity and access management policies to restrict who can access storage buckets, compute instances, and both front and back end applications, even before we create any substantive content. As we continue to build and secure this architecture, we repeatedly ask ourselves, what have we secured? And what are the existing concerns? What's still vulnerable? Or what could be abused? Where do we have opportunities to improve our ability to audit? And how can we make things easier for our stakeholders? Let's take your super admin accounts. These are very, very powerful and need strong protections because they could do almost anything with your data, which is why leveraging security keys is essential for these high value accounts. Or maybe all accounts? Hmm. Security keys guard against phishing more effectively than alternate second factors. That's because you can't fool a security key with a fake domain or a fake certificate. We've seen tremendous benefits at Google from using them, and many clients utilize this open standard to safeguard their accounts too. Even when accounts are very secure, people can leak your company's data accidentally. You can prevent this with org-wide policies, in this case, preventing any resource from being accessed by anybody outside the domain. Going even further, We've created a virtual private cloud construct inside our GCP architecture so that no app data inside the VPC can be accessed from anything outside. This creates a strong network boundary and prevents data from going to another GCP project, which could leak it. Keeping your data safe also requires preventing employees from exfiltrating data. To prevent a malicious insider from moving data from one GCP resource to another, you can restrict all resources inside your VPC to be accessible only to other resources inside the same VPC. On top of this, you can use IdentityWare Proxy to allow specific people to access the VPC resources from anywhere on the internet, especially useful for contractors or remote workers who need to connect to these systems from outside your office environment. IAP restricts access based on identity, so you choose who gets access rather than getting access based on where someone sits. Now that you've got a great security setup, you're done, right? If things do go wrong, and they probably will sometime, you'll need to find out what happened and when. We'll use Stackdriver to manage logs, tracking what happened every step of the way so you can investigate after an incident. To get a view of your overall security status, we'll use Cloud Security Command Center to aggregate your security metrics into a single dashboard. And we'll use Forseti to increase your automation around security policy application and monitoring so new projects will adhere to the same security standards. Securing your GCP resources relies on layering policies and good architecture practices and is possible even if you're starting from scratch, as you've seen here. Thanks for watching. You can see the full talk link in the description below. Subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more Next Rewind videos.